it was always going to be a, a, a tricky game given the schedule you've been on and knowing that they will be pretty keen to bounce back after the other night and gee they, they made a hell of a run in the third quarter but you'd be proud of the way your team responded and, and, and got a really important win. Yeah, obviously you love the way that we that we came out. Um, you know, the pace that we played at, you know, Tuck was huge in that all night and then when we got stops and um, you know his sprints to to get to the rim and you know drawing eight fouls was was huge and um, us just getting some you know some cheap points but you know you know credit to Vandy and and their coaching staff um, you know that that third quarter run that they made you know it was floaters over the top of our contests it was contested threes um, everyone was aggressive Bainsey was picking up O boards it was um, you know it was, it was a lot to deal with and um, being able to handle that run and um, you know get through it the end of three quarter time CG made a couple of big ones um, and then yeah pretty composed fourth quarter from us foul trouble different people playing different spots we end up playing the game out a little bit smaller but um, yeah, you know, it was a tough physical game. How tough is it when you're playing on the road, you've got 5,000 fans in a, in a building desperate to see their team win and their team has all the momentum in the third quarter? How tough is it to, to turn the tide back your way? And what does it say about your team that you were able to, to do that? Yeah, credit to the organisation. You know, there was a the the fans were amazing during that third. You know, when they made their run, it was it was noisy, it was loud, it was it was it was a fun environment to play in. Um, but yeah, I thought there's there's been good composure recently from from this group about you know our process and a, you know CG's a great one in, in leading that from the player group. Everyone's you know we're, we're not getting too high, too low in in situations tonight. You know there's a lot of things going on in the game tonight. You know we get three lane violations and um, you know flopping and there was there was a whole lot of things going on in that in that game tonight. Um, you know I challenge within 30 seconds of the game and um, so yeah there was some wild things going on but yeah I, I love the way that we've just handled things get back to our defensive rules uh, make sure we're sharing the basketball screen and well and and trusting each other and, uh, and uh, that it's building with our group absolutely it was a game that had had everything but from your point of view every time you needed something it was either tuck it was either golding it was either xrm or it was either shaley they all came up with big plays in big moments i mean to have so many guys capable of doing that is is probably why you're playing so well, right now. Yeah, I thought X's, um, you know, in key moments, his ability to go by people and get to the rim was huge. Um, you know, we run a play for Tuck and, you know, he attacks Baines, his hip. He was obviously a lot more aggressive defensively than we've seen him for a while. And he gets downhill, Shaley three ball, um, you know, though, right on the shot clock, the other one that Shay hits. And, um, you know, it's good that we've got, you know, so many people that um, can, can affect the game um, and make winning plays. And Tuck, did you enjoy things out there? How did you find tonight's game? Um, it was good, you know, just like Coach said, just the you know, composure that we played with when they went on their run to, you know, get stops and uh, dig out a win. The, the environment here was great. Uh, their fans are, are great fans, you know, to give them that energy that they had in the third quarter. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun playing a game that you love. Even though you're playing on the road, is it fun to play in an in a environment like this where the crowd is so into the game? It might not be in your favour, but is it fun to play in a building that's, that's so loud? Um, me personally, I, I like road games. Um, you know, uh, the crowd gets a little antsy, and for me, when the crowd gets quiet at the end of the game, knowing their team lost, it, it's kind of a, a satisfying feeling to me. Um, it's always good to win at home in front of your fans, but it's just a, it's a little bit more pleasing when you're on the road and you know the odds are against you. You're playing at such a consistently high level right now, and you have been doing it for probably four, five, or six weeks. Um, was it just a matter of settling into life in the NBL and the way the basketball was played here, or what, why have you been able to play so well in this second half of the season? Uh, yeah, settling in, but just the confidence that um, my teammates and uh, Dino have given me, uh, the work, extra work that I put in with Reese Carter and uh, DMAC. Um, coming out of that FIBA break just to work on my shot, just to, you know, expand my game in uh, different aspects to have the scouting report on me kind of change to open up things for like CG and, and uh, Shea Ailey and XRM and the other guys on our team just to, uh, you know, do what I do at a high frequency level has uh, been good. As a team, you're playing at such a high level right now. Clearly, you're a good enough team to be a playoff team, but 
I'm guessing some ways it's out of your hands if you actually make it. All you can do is win these last three games. But how desperate are you to, to sneak into that top six, Rajon? Uh, super desperate. Um, that's what we play with and we've been playing with for the last couple of weeks. Um, just that relentlessness and desperation to, you know, give ourselves the best opportunity, you know, make that playoff berth because we feel like we are a championship caliber team. Um, so, yeah. And Dana, I guess you've got three games in three weeks to go to the close out the season. How do you, how do you approach this now? Do you, I mean, what, how are you feeling about the way the team's playing and how do you approach these last three games where you throw everything at winning them and then, I guess, hope that everything works out in your favour? Yeah, game. You know, we celebrate this one tonight, and um, anytime you get a dub on a double road trip when you're going across two countries um, to play um, games, it's you know it's really satisfying um, with the energy that we found tonight um, to to go ahead and, and close out that game. So yeah, Adelaide twice, and and a game back in New Zealand. Uh, um, you know, we finished the season at home, and we know we're going to pack that one out, and um, you know. It's, it's going to be, it's going to have playoff implications that that last game of the, the year, and I think that's what the league was all about this year. About um, you know going to the playing tournament, and everyone you know is playing at such a high level, you know, in these far, last few rounds of the season, and it's good for fans, it's good for for the everybody you know playing the game of basketball the way everyone's competing right now. And just the last one, obviously it's a week away still, but would you expect Iced and or Dave to be back for the next week's game? Yeah, probably not ice. Um, I think Barlow's a, a, a solid chance, but um, yeah, we'll see how he goes when, when we get back. But he's done some good work um, over the last few days, and um, yeah, there's a possibility that, that he'll be back.